Hi, I'm Mitch Clark, former professional fighter, retired UFC fighter, and today I'm going undercover at Jackson Wink as Wa Hart. If you look at the mullet, it's it's powerful. Uh, well, it's really like like Samson from the Bible, where it's where I derive my powerful. Power. Hair does hair is power. It's like a lion's mane. It's not the same <laughs> without without the mane. So right now I'm gluing some tracks back here. We're gonna um, make sure and have it be as natural as possible. Right now. <laughs> I'm just scared it's gonna get tied into the mullet, and then it's just gonna be a big old ball of yarn on my face. <laughs> Warm up, right? I'm just gonna go through class. And then, so during warm ups, am I gonna introduce you at all, right? Because then that would. It, yeah. I'll, like, so it's, uh, I'll basically just say, what's your name? I'll ask your name, then you'll say your ridiculous name, right? <laughs> and then the hair looks pretty good, man. Hey, this is my teammate, this is Jess. This is Hi, yeah. sir. Uh, Roy. Wah. 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 Like, Roy, but our, our, uh, silent. Okay. Uh, like, uh, Canada, like uh, oh, French, okay, cool. Quebecois, uh, pa Patrick Wa, Patrick Wa, uh, Aki. Uh, you can pay for an experience and get it recorded. So, yeah. so he paid for the experience and he's getting it recorded. So, don't try to hurt him, right? But I don't know how much he knows. Just work with him, right? Holy shit! That is a nice ass mullet mustache. Looks like the standards at JW just. Not so, I don't know about this guy. I think he might have snuck in the gym. Which one, the, the one with the mullet? The goldie? Hey, you, you can never judge a book by its cover, so... He's over here giving me the stank eye, too, so I don't know. I'm keep, keep my distance. <laughs> uh, he reminds me of something off of... Uh, what's that movie name? Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> he like the uncle up in the Napoleon Dynamite. What about his skill levels? Does it look like he, like he has a... I think he does he have like a future in this sport maybe? I, mean, I think everybody deserves a chance, man. Uh, I think these guys should probably uh, take his chances maybe in the UFC. You were given a chance at some point, right? Yeah, you know, everybody deserves a chance. No matter how, how do you look. It's tough. It's hard. But I'm the real deal. A bit of a distraction, but it's just for a day. Or did you pay for the week? One day. One day. All right, cool. So today, guys, I wanted to go over um, um, some groundwork, all right? Uh, go ahead and, and put the gloves up, right? You're not going to use those right now. Today, I wanted to implement some groundwork. Go, go, get in there. Get in there. Go to work, guys. Go to work. Go to work. Go ahead. When, when, he, when he's tapping you, that means let go, right? Good job, man. Yeah, yeah, so so you probably overpowered him there, but just like let go. If you feel this, that means let go, all right? <laughs> right, get in. Uh, you ever watch the UFC? Yes. Right, so you know how they always try to lock arms and sometimes legs and try to choke and stuff? Why don't they just get up? Yeah, they... <laughs> Nice, Rojas. Almost, Rojas. Just, yep. You watched a lot of UFC. You watched a lot of UFC, dude. And then next person on back. Good. All right, good. Switch it out. Switch it out. Hold on a second. Let me get some. Let me see here. Hold on. Good shit, man. You're strong. Thank you. I work out. Alberta beef. All right, I knew something was up. Look at his mustache now. I told you, I knew it. I knew it. 
All right, guys. Hey, uh, this is uh, this is Mitch Clark. I'm gonna. Uh, he's a UFC veteran, right? So what we wanted to do was just kind of prank you guys, man. Right? Uh, he's, a, he's a fucking black belt on the ground, as you guys got to do, all right? Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's great work, man. Hey, hey, fucking mullet on three. Right? Bring it in. Bring it back the mullet, baby. Right? Yes, mullet on three. One, two, three. Mullet. Hey. It's a big old slice of humble pie when you got like pretend you're on level one, especially on the ground. So I just did my best, and everyone here's really nice. A couple guys were starting to catch on; they're trying to like clamp on, and that's why like they're rolling almost platter from side control. So I got like buried up and stuff. Tried to do some fancy stuff. Jackson Wink has the best amateur program, I think. They're doing it right. They split a mob, and they slowly filter in, you know, guys to get to the higher level. It's it's the, I think it's the best way to go about it. Guys are building up, learning MMA from the bare bones all the way up. But someone who's great, like Joey Villasenor, he's a great coach, great guy, and he played he played a good actor in this in uh, in this little scheme. So it was fun. It was a good time. I was really cool, man. It was cool to just like uh, uh, you know have fun with the family, you know, uh, have a good time with them. You know, we're we're a big family here, man. We uh, these little things like that. But drawing the team, you know, some they can laugh about, some they can uh, have as an experience. Chris Rojas, man, when I, when he got tapped out two times quickly, I saw in his face he wanted to cry, man. You know, he was like so disappointed. I just kept feeding him to the wolves, man. The thing was, is I was giving him some young, like, strong, strong dudes, and he was handling all of them quickly, right? What I liked is, man, you know, you watched a lot of UFC, dude, man. That's pretty damn good. <laughs>